How's it going guys? So today we are exploring downtown Nagasaki, which as you can see is currently covered in a lot of these paper lanterns. For about two weeks around the end of January, beginning of February, the entire city is decorated with over 15,000 of these paper lanterns to celebrate the new Lunar New Year. And with COVID having prevented the event from going on for the last three years, it's not only the tourists and the visitors who are excited to see the event, but the locals as well. There are a lot of events going on around the city such as the crowd favorite mask changing dance and the dragon dance as well. So let's not waste any more time here and get to checking them out. As the only prefecture in Japan open to global trade from 1603 to 1868, Nagasaki's rich history has led it to become one of the most multicultural places in Japan. Evidenced by events like Lantern Festival and Kunchi, the European style architecture, and one of the highest populations of Japanese Christians in the country. While the city certainly is beautiful during the daytime, as you can see from all the shots that I managed to get, it really does come alive at nighttime as evidenced by the fact that it is a lantern festival and all of the beautiful reds and yellows really do make the city shine. So as you guys can see, the difference is literally night and day as Meganebashi in particular is lit up with all of these really beautiful yellow lanterns that are in a lot of contrast to the rest of the red ones around the city. One of the coolest aspects about the Lantern Festival right now is that, as you can see, these are actually all just regular streets. There are people going to and from work. All of these displays, like the big one that I filmed back there, and all of these lanterns just lining the streets, they are all just on regular streets. There's no real special designation for where they place them. I mean, there are a lot of displays, obviously, in some of the parks and things like that. It's really pretty, and it just uh, it really livens up the city, especially after having not had it for the last three years. And that was the Lantern Festival. I hope you guys enjoyed watching it as much as I enjoyed just getting to explore the city that I've been living in for the last year and a half. Unfortunately, by the time this video comes out, the festival will have ended already, but like I said before, this does mark the first time in three years that the festival has come back, and it is an annual event, so if you are in Nagasaki around the end of January, beginning of February, make sure to come check it out because it is a really fun and exciting event. Not to mention that it's also only 
one of many of the unique festivals and events that goes on in Nagasaki. So let me know down in the comments below what you guys liked seeing in this video, and don't forget to like the video and subscribe to my channel. And if you're interested in getting some more behind the scenes cuts that I had to take out from this YouTube version of the video, make sure to go over and support me on Patreon. Thanks as always for watching, and I will see you in the next one. Yo, look at that action, see I can take the BPM, yo, I was messing so way to beat, 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 yo, I was see yo, just the bus, or see more bus, but you have to take that, in that, chanto, dental, good gas, more, chanto, go, go, car, dental, good, yo, go, Japanese.